Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do another experiment. I did a video using the Mothership 3 Subversive Palette. I did one look on each eye, recreating looks that Chris Loves Lux did. And so I was looking through my Natasha Denona palettes, and I'm a dupe them out. And so I'm going to do the same thing. One look on one eye, one look on the other eye for each look. So the same look on the same side, but with different palettes. The same look on this eye with different palettes. And so for this eye, I'll put the picture subversive and then a picture of Natasha Denona. And I'll do the same thing with this eye because I'm just curious, like how close can I get with these looks? Uh, so I, yeah, so I'm not going to talk a lot because I'm going to chop up this video. Otherwise it will be hella long because the right eye look, I have found shades that I believe will dupe it all from the Metropolis palette. However, because some of the looks are the creamy mattes, I will have to top it with another shade to hopefully give me that same tone that was in the Subversive palette. Y'all, this is work. <laughs> but it's fun and it's interesting. For the left eye look, I will be using the Metropolis palette and the Leela palette. And so that's what's going to make it even more work is going back and forth in and out of these two palettes. And I like having everything on one palette, but I'm just really curious to see, like, can I get that same look? Would I do this on a regular basis, being in two or three different palettes? I don't know. Because for my All Shimmer Viseart palette, I pair that with my All Matte Viseart palette. For my Natasha Denona Cranberry palette, which is a five pan, I always pair that with my five pan Natasha Denona Camel palette. With my Natasha Denona Eyeshadow palette 10, I always pair that with the Camel palette. So I'm in and out of different palettes anyway. The only difference is these are two larger size palettes. <laughs> this is the size of the Vizzy Heart. Look at this thing. Like, this is huge. Well, not really, because she has something bigger than this. The Star 10 palette, that's what this looks like. This is the Metropolis. Even though it's a little longer, it's not as tall, I guess. And using the, the Cranberry palette, the same size as this one, like, that's a big difference than using two of these. And so I'm just saying that to say... People do it. I've done it. It gets done. Um, but to recreate another look going in and out of two mid-sized palettes, that might be something new. I'm babbling, y'all, because I'm nervous. I'm rolling up my sleeves right now. So just bear with me. And as I said, I will chop up this video. So I'll just shut up now. Fenty Eyeshadow Primer. I'm going to do this eye first because this is the one where I'm going to be in two different palettes. The first shade we're going to take from Metropolis palette is Aqueous, if I'm pronouncing that right. That's going to go on the first third of the lid. We're going to take Enigma, this shade here, on the outer corner of the lid. We're going to take Queen as a brow bone and inner corner highlight. From the Leela palette, we're going to take Livid on the center of the lid. We're going to take Amethyst, this shade here, on the outer corner of the lid using the same brush. I'm going to go back with that first brush with that blue. I did not add any extra color on here because I really feel like I lost the blue and it seems like I remember the other look being very blue so we're actually going to go back into metropolis that same color 
and just put that back. It got eaten up. We're going to take queen on the inner lower lash line. Wipe that brush off, aqueous. Amethyst from Leela, same brush. Enigma, this shade here, same brush. Wiping that off, livid. I did that backwards. I was supposed to have to do livid first. And then amethyst. From Leela, we're going to take nude mauve, this shade here, as a transition. I think it's safe to say this is not a dupe look from the subversive palette. I remember that look being very, very, very blue. And this is not very, very blue. I'm digging it though. <laughs> I do like it. It's just not the same. I'm gonna take some of this nude mauve just down here. Just to blow that out a little bit. Okay, this eye is done. What do you think? We're going to move over to the right eye using everything from the Metropolis palette. Oreum as brow bone and inner corner highlight. Lethal on the first half of the lid. Shield. We're going to put this on top of Lethal. I'm going to take Troop on the center of the lid. We're going to take Noble. I didn't mean to stick my finger in it. <laughs> We're going to take <laughs> wrong brush. Noble on top of Troop. <laughs> Guys, I think I forgot to put eye primer over here. Did I put eye primer over here? I really don't remember. I'll see when I play it back. If not, these are sticking really good. Did I put on eye primer? <laughs> For some reason, I don't think I did. Hmm. Moving on. We're going to take Royal, this shade here, and this is going to go in the outer corner. I'm really trying to think if I put on eyeshadow primer. I don't think I did. Hmm. Because this does not feel sticky at all up here. That's why I'm thinking I didn't. Wow. Wow. Let me know if you've done that before. You were almost done with your entire eye look and been like, I didn't put on primer. Pure, this shade here, this is going to be our transition shade. I'm going to take pure also on the lower lash line and then we're going to do lethal on the lower lash line and troop actually all the colors we used up top we're just going to layer them on the bottom <laughs> i'm not even going to try to remember like what went where <laughs> oh gosh i'm tripping because i really think i forgot to put on eyeshadow primer on this side So this is the finished look for both of these eyes. And for some reason, I don't think this looks like <laughs> the Pat McGrath subversive eye either. <laughs> so we can see how not alike these looks are. <laughs> I 
I do like both the looks though. The reason I layered colors on this eye was because some of the shimmers and pats were not shimmers in here. And then looking at the other colors in here, the Metropolis palette, I thought, well, if I put this on top of that, that'll make it the same color. If I put this on top of whatever I put it on top of, on top of Troop, put this shade on top of Troop, that would give me what it looked like in pat. And I really don't think it did. However, I am really glad that I did this because it does give it a slightly different look in person, whereas though it's not as matte, but it's not super sparkly, shiny, glittery either. There's just a little bit of something that adding that, what is the finish to those shades? <laughs> Metallics. So it does add just a little bit of something, adding the metallics on top. And that's not something I generally do. And so I am glad that I did try that to do this look. Yeah, and this eye, I do have quite a bit of fallout because there was no primer on my lid. Wow. Like I really was out to lunch on that one. And it's not best in the way either because I have one a full face and setting spray and all of that good stuff but wow i really didn't have eye primer on here so at least you know that if you forget to put on eye primer the colors will still show up so that's a really good thing that's it for this video do i want to do a lip we're just going to do what i usually do <laughs> and put on a hot chocolate fancy gloss bomb because it goes with everything. And so that's that. So thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Let me know. <laughs> Hashtag I tried it. Wow. I did not put primer. All right. I'm going to go. Thanks for watching, guys. And you'll see me next video.